This is part three of the kinematics lab. For this part of the lab, the displacement between the two photo gates will remain unchanged. It will be at 0 0.70 meters. However, the angle of the ramp is going to change and we're going to use that to be able to calculate the velocity at that photo gate, at that second photo gate, and the uh, acceleration as it rolls down the ramp. Okay. For this part of the lab, we'll only be using the metal marble. Station one, the angle of the ramp is going to be 18.0 degrees. This is time trial one for station one. This is time trial two for station one. This is time trial three for station one. At station two, the angle is 21.1 degrees. This is time trial one for station two. This is time trial two. This is time trial three. At station three, the angle is 29.9 degrees. This is time trial one for station three. This is time trial two. This is time trial three. At station four, the angle is 26.9 degrees. This is time trial one for station four. This is time trial two. This is time trial three. At station five, the angle is 29.6 degrees. This is time trial one for station five. This is time trial two. This is time trial three. At station six, the angle of the ramp is 32.6 degrees. This is time trial one for station six. This is time trial two. This is time trial three. This is time trial one for station seven. This is time trial two. This is time trial three. The Kinematics Lab Part 3 Angle versus Acceleration Calculations. So, if you use the data from the video, these, this, this is the, uh, the data that you should have gotten. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to use this data to calculate the acceleration as the angle increases. So, once again, these are the kinematic equations that we're going to use and those variables. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to ask ourselves these three questions. What, which variable are you being asked to find? What three variables do you already know? And which equation has those four variables? So, let's do station one for part three. So, a marble starts at rest and accelerates uniformly over a time of 0 0.79257 seconds for a displacement of 0 0.700 meters. Determine the acceleration of the marble during the time interval. Then calculate the velocity of the marble at the end of the time interval. So the first thing I'm going to ask myself is what am I being asked to find? And I'm asked to find the acceleration. Right? Then I need to ask myself, what three things do I already know? So I know the initial velocity is zero because it starts at rest. Then I know the time interval, the delta T is 0 0.7925 seconds. That is the average time from those three time trials. And I know the displacement, that delta X, is 0 0.700 meters. So I can go ahead and just keep track of those down there. And then I'm looking for the equation that has these four variables. And it's going to be the second one. So I can go ahead and plug everything that I know into that equation and then I can solve for uh, the acceleration. 
So I get 2.63 meters per second squared. Now notice my answer has three significant figures because it is limited by my least accurate measurement, which happens to be that delta x, because that delta x has three significant figures. So my answer has to have three significant figures as well. Then I can calculate the velocity. Now I could use any three of these equations. However, I'm going to use the third one, because even if I calculated the acceleration incorrectly or there was something, there was something wrong with the... Uh, or there was something wrong with the, uh, you know, the setup. I can still get that uh, that final velocity. So I get z. So this is uh, what uh, I get, and I can just solve for that final velocity. I get one point seven seven meters per second. Notice I have three significant figures. So then what I can do is I can go ahead and plug that acceleration into the data table, and I can do that for the remaining seven stations. So once again, this has been the Kinematics Lab Part Three.